these are like Cricut specific pens? Yeah, but allegedly you can use non Cricut, but they were on sale. They were like $3. Ooh, this is like leather? It's pretty. That color. Mm -hmm. We can write on letters with that. Stop asking questions before Sorry. we start. Hold, hold the applause. <laughs> hold the applause. Sorry. Hey, ZI Triers. We are back and at it again with something different. We say this every time. We do. But we always have different <laughs> stuff, so. We just be throwing things out there. Look, if you are here, then you have either purchased a Cricut or you're thinking about it and I just want to warn you. This this video is literally just to warn you. It's an addiction. I literally lost my best friend at this point. Like, See, Cricut, you stole, you stole my best friend. How dare you? You stole my money. <laughs> Look, it is a gateway drug for sure. Like, it just, I'm going to just get into it. I feel like Kat joined a secret society and I'm not a part of it so I just feel left out like when she talks my eyes just glaze over it's a different I'm like language. I'm just gonna go it's now and let me know when you're done cricketing when I got this package I was instantly thrown off by the size of it like she was carrying it to the top I was like oh shit I'm sorry girl let me get it <laughs> and it just, I wasn't expecting it to be this big. It's huge. It's huge. It's big. Like, it's when heavy. you think Listen. stencils and all that stuff, like, you think, oh, a cute little printer. But this, mm -hmm. is it heavy? Yeah. Holy crap. That's big. This is exactly. no joke. Exactly. Like, that is a machine. That That's is a machine. That's no joke. This thing is huge. So, this yeah, that, like, it threw me because I wasn't, ex I was expecting, like, a printer. Yeah. Maybe. So, the first thing I want to warn you about is you need space for this period point blank you cannot just set this up on the desk that you're already using with other things it's i have to build a desk to accommodate this now we've been already plotting what what her <laughs> cricket room craft area is going to look like i didn't understand craft rooms until i got a cricket i used sense. to i used to be a little judgy and be like who needs a craft room now you need a whole entire room listen for i need a fifth bedroom so i can have a craft room you hear me mess <laughs> First thing out the box, I was thrown off by the size. Um, then I just want to show you what you get initially with it. <laughs> That's lit. Fancy. That's lit. So oh, look. that was like one of the first things I made was material curl stickers material because girl. I'm a child. <laughs> but um, I'm actually gonna decorate her a lot cuter. But this is—is is that a thing? Yeah. Yes. Oh, because of the stencils, you make the stencils in it. People put stuff on here to be like, what you making? It's cute. Like when you pop it open, it's like a little kit. It's cute. Huh. Anyway, um, when you get it, it comes with a regular knife blade and the maker comes with, not this. <laughs> you see, I haven't opened it yet. It comes with the rotary blade, which cuts fabric. So when I was in the market for a Cricut, I did not research as I should have but um, the one thing I did realize that the maker cuts everything. It cuts fabric, it cuts wood, aluminum, all that shit. Right. They, all they had to do was tell me to cut wood. And I was like, I want that one. <laughs> if it cuts wood, I'll take it. I just felt like for us, like, we need yeah. something that cuts wood. So I went with it. Um, but it comes with the rotary blade and a regular knife blade, which is good for uh, vinyl, all that stuff. The f Cricut don't tell you all the things that you're going to have to buy after the fact. It sounds good that it cuts all these things, but realistically, there's different tools to cut everything with, and I didn't know that. I joined several Cricut groups on Facebook, and it was weird to me when I saw people in the groups that didn't own a Cricut yet. I was like, that kind of makes sense, though. Now it makes sense. <laughs> But y'all, I was judging them. I was like, if you don't got a cricket, why you why here? You here? <laughs> like, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. They were doing the intelligent thing in researching. So yeah, I think um, when you get a cricket, it depends on what your goal is, but absolutely research whatever the project is that you want to do and make sure that you have what you need for that. Don't buy nothing more. Don't buy nothing else. Just buy what your project is. Don't be like sis. She bought everything. Please, please hold. I'm just, I'm just gonna go. What? Where are you? <laughs> where, are you, where are you going? What's happening here? Don't leave me here. I don't know what any of this is. 
What's going on? I'm gonna come this way. <laughs> All right. So, because I did not research, I would be in the middle of things and be like, oh, I need this. Oh, uh -oh. I need because I really didn't have direction, so this is what no direction gets you. This is so cute, though. It is a very cute card, and it's organized, kinda. I also would encourage you, if you're getting your Cricut and you're trying to find tools, I'm kind of a, I don't wanna call myself a label whore, but like when it comes to brands, when I have tools, like with our tools, I like yeah. to buy things that are compatible. Yeah. With Cricut, not necessarily the case. Like it, I'm not shitting on Cricut by any means. But there are so many other cheaper options and I don't want you to be discouraged to get things that you want just because you're stuck on that Cricut brand. Try other brands. So you could you use like a Cricut brand and another brand together? Mm-hmm. So with like vinyl, Hobby Lobby, if you have a Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby by you, they have Paper Studio. The what? Love this. The what? Love this. So they have Paper Studio. Um, Paper Studio regularly goes 50% off. Like, you know how Hobby Lobby does their sales. Every other week, different sales, 50% off. So for that, what is that marked at? $8.99. So $4.50 for a whole roll of vinyl, especially when you're starting off, is, is nice. And that's wood. It's a pretty thick roll. Yeah. It's, come on, come on. Uh, $4.48. Oh, that's 12. 12 by 12. Six sheets. Six sheets of 12 by 12. And this one is so cute. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's wood. It's wood. This one is actually a stencil one. So, um, yeah, don't be discouraged to try different brands. See it. If it works for you, just try with a few rolls and go from there. But especially if you're learning, you don't want to go yeah. for the more expensive thing. I don't even know anything about Cricut, but that's just like in life in general. Yeah. If you're practicing, practice on. But does that make a difference? Yes and no. I haven't ran into any issues with Paper Studio. I was, re I'm a researcher. People in the comments and the reviews, for whatever reason, everyone doesn't like Paper Studio. I haven't had any issues. I only had my real first issue the other day. With Paper Studio or? It wasn't with Paper Studio. Oh. It was with this, the Cricut Strong Grip Transfer Tape. So, I bought this because it was Cricut, and I don't think it's a bad product. I think it just depends on what you're using it for. Mm. I've learned that Strong Grip is really for uh, glitter things because that paper is a little thicker. So when you work with regular vinyl, it's super thin, and it just it <laughs> it wouldn't have. I don't know how this didn't pull off the paint on the toy box actually. That's crazy. Like that's how strong this grip is. <laughs> Initially, the first layer I was doing was Paper Studio. And I was like, oh, the Paper Studio, the Paper Studio. But then I got to the Cricut strip and I was like, oh, it's just, it's, it's the tape. It's just the tape. So yes, um, I bought this. It I can't remember what I paid for this. Maybe nine bucks. But the other day, I literally bought a box of transfer tape from uh, Amazon for like $11. A box. It's and like, how much was this? Probably nine. Nine dollars for one. Yeah. Wow. Also, Dollar Tree is your best friend. Just go on Pinterest, look up some Dollar Tree Cricut hacks, tools, things like that. Just go to Dollar Tree and you will find all types of stuff like these. I saw people using these. I haven't opened them yet, but I saw people using these for their mats. Where are they? They're little hooks, but people would take... Oh, like book rings. Mm -hmm. Oh. So these, like, people use pegboards, but if you don't have a pegboard, you can still kind of organize your mats and then just hang them. Is that hook over there? No, it's on the other side. So, yeah. I don't know if you can see it, but if you have a hook, you can literally just organize your mats. And it's nice. Yep. Okay. So, Dollar Tree. Love that. Um, also... I see a lot of people buying um, holders for all their different Cricut tools. Like the pen? Yeah, so this 
I waited for y'all to open this stuff, and I was meeting it. <laughs> for much her to be able to be patient and wait, y'all, y'all are special. Listen, y'all are special. I think I'm a little more patient than you, actually. A lot more patient. Than you. <laughs> I wanted to show them. I guess I could have still shown the packaging, but um, yeah, this. this even if you don't have a Cricut, this is Dollar Tree. So it's basically just a little oh, yeah. organizer. Like use these for like paintbrushes. Yeah, I got a bunch of little paintbrushes. So. I don't know if you can see it. Dollar Tree. Uh, paint brushes, Cricut stuff. Hell, you can use this for makeup brushes. Like this. Valid. This little thing. I bought more than one of these. Oh, just, just gonna, can you put the, you want to go back? back? How do you put the other? Yes. <laughs> don't tempt me with a good time. Danette's going to work on assembling it. Oh, am I? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. I think it just, yeah. All right. So, yeah, don't sleep on Dollar Tree. Um, Dollar Tree has... Uh, Mod Podge, which people love for crafting. Um, a lot of people use the Awesome Spray for the mats. I haven't tried that yet. My mats are still new. Uh, what else? Dollar Tree has vinyl. Yeah. Also, with your Cricut, y'all, I'm not knocking people that sell tutorials, that sell handbooks all that stuff but there are so many free resources out here like i love free game i want to share the free game that i found uh pinterest has so many different cheat sheets so i like to print out things i'm old school i guess i get tired of being on my phone and computers so i printed out isn't this cute like just different things that i know i would use on the regular uh how come you haven't done that with our plan we just got these notebooks. <laughs> and you got this all figured out. You see the way she left me Listen. and woodworking for a cricket? You Listen. see this? So I really, isn't this, I just love this. Especially like I have a heat press and you need to know the temperature, you need to know the time, all that stuff for every piece that you do. And since I'm new, I don't have them memorized. So this heating chart is oh. like game changer. Because sometimes I just don't have an extra hand to be on my phone. I can just flip. So. Do yourself a favor and get a notebook from Target. That's cute. That matches your Cricut kind. <laughs> and there you go. Five hours later. Ooh. Basically, just use all of your resources. Use Pinterest. Use Facebook. Talk to somebody that has a Cricut. Don't just go in blind. But it worked out though. It did. It did. I probably could have saved myself a lot of money though. Yeah. A lot of money and a lot of frustration had I had a little more direction. But one of the first things that I did was buy the Cricut um, tool set. And that was a good buy. Don't buy it from Hobby Lobby or Joanne or Michaels. Don't buy any Cricut stuff from there unless it's on sale. Period. Like it's so high. But. Mark it up to mark it down. Exactly. So if it's on sale, cool. But otherwise, go to Amazon. Amazon has it. It's legit. But this, like, this little weeding tool. It looks like a dentist. It like does like a little dentist. plus pick. This you'll need, like, when you cut your vinyl, you have to, you know, weed it. People talk about how weeding is relaxing. And I'm like, bitch, where? What? That is my least favorite part about what cricketing. So, damn, I'm going to have nothing to weed. That would have okay. been good. I might. Okay. Do you? You keep leaving me here with all these things that I really wish you wouldn't. This looks like a scalpel. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Scalpel. Scalpel? Scalpel? Wait, hold on. Weeding. Okay. So, weeding, if you're new, new, um, weeding is basically getting the negative space. So you're taking out the extra to get what you don't need. So I don't know if this shows up on camera, but this is extra because I did it wrong. <laughs> Y'all, I saw Kat the other day. She was sitting in her seat and she's like this. All right. <laughs> she's like, I can't you know, see. She had the little tool and she's like, I can't see. I don't know. I, I was cracking see. up. I have a little light that I'm going to use moving forward, but it's people. Sure you really can't see. Exactly. Like, Pull out the so basically you want the letters so you want to pull out what's not the letters. I can play with this. You don't need this. Yeah, no, it's I messed it up. <laughs> pull 
it and then you're like taking away the part you don't need this is actually um heat transfer vinyls for a shirt and i didn't mirror it which is a whole nother issue you, oh there needs on? to be an entire i can't i don't i don't even know how you get this off the corners mm -hmm. But there needs to be an entire video on vocabulary because half the words she says, I'm like, huh? What? Hey, heat transfer? Heat transfer vinyl is basically t-shirts, anything that you would wash, t-shirts, canvas bags. That's what I guess the most popular thing is. So unlike other vinyl, it's not sticky. You have to iron it on. So this is sticky. Here. Give me that. So weeding is taking off the negative space and then like some letters have space in the middle. That's when you need your tool to kind of get it lifted and you just I could see how this could be satisfying. I don't like it. I could see. I mean, it could be a little stressful right like right now I'm playing, but if I were trying to do something that I actually needed, I might mm -hmm. be a little stressed. And if you don't have good lighting. Like Oh, right. That's the part like the lighting plays a huge but I could see how it could be like satisfying. It's like when you're little and you put the glue on your hands and you're like peeling. It's a little bit like that. So these are wrong because I was supposed to mirror it. Mirror is for iron ones because you're basically laying it the opposite way. So it has to be mirrored mm -hmm. to do it right. And I didn't. What'd you do that for? For my bag. I made this for myself because I'm a dork. <laughs> How could you is it? It is cute. This was like one of my first, actually this was my first iron on project. I was and so you were nervous. so proud. I was proud. I still ain't care because I don't know what I'm doing, but. It's cute. Thank you. So yes, mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. <laughs> like seriously, like people that do cricket say mirror, they're like mirror, mirror. Half the people have it written on their machines. Like when you print something, it prints it for the whole like job. Cricket ain't like that. Like you have to put a different mat in for every layer, for every color, and you need to make sure your mirror is on for every I layer. Never done this. I don't. I just. I don't know. Look at mats like color. If you have a project, every color that you have is gonna go on a different mat because you're cutting literally from that color. So if you have a rainbow, you better get your Roy G. Biv on. <laughs> You would literally load your vinyl onto the mat, it goes in, it cuts whatever's red. Do the blue, do the red. Um, and then you put it together. You have to assemble it. Wow. So there's a ton of tutorials on layering. It's not as bad, but anything over four. I feel like this should be a series. I think it will be. I mean, well, you gotta teach me. So I gotta teach you. Okay. I think this looks like the, uh, like on your skin. Oh yeah, the little uh, face roller that we don't know what it's called. So that, I don't know the official name, I just call it the roller. <laughs> so when you okay. do, like when you lay vinyl, and let me just get a mat. Let me just show you a little bit. This actually was a good purchase, it's not Cricut. Um, I saw people use it and I was like, I don't need it. Sorry, it helps. So basically when you lay your vinyl on, I don't really want a full sheet. So, not, yeah. So the mats are sticky. So some of this stuff, because it comes in rolls, it doesn't really lay flat, but this kind of helps you just oh, I roll, it to stick roll it to stick. And then sometimes some of them get bubbles in them. So that so helps roll bad. the bubbles out. So it, it's actually really helpful. Um, if you don't have the roller, you can use this little scraper thing, which also helps, but bubbles are not good. No bubbles. Um, so weeding tool, this thing, it comes with scissors. I was trying to use them and I practically malfunctioned. I was like, I don't know what I'm here, here, I don't know what I'm doing. Those are those. Um, they're all helpful. And then um, I have an exacto. I like exacto knives just in general. I just like really precise cuts. And this was on clearance and it came with five extra blades. So I'm good. 
this is gonna migrate to the garage too because sometimes you just need a new light. So overall, mm -hmm. if I were to buy a Cricut today and I were to say, Kat, What's what do head? I need? Okay, okay. Um, you need this Cricut. <laughs> do I need this Cricut? Once again, it depends on what you're doing. Like if you have, I say this, if you are trying to get into the Cricut game long term, and you want to have no limits to what you're making if you could possibly want to make face masks anything with fabric if you have the money to splurge get the maker you're not limiting yourself it's like an extra hundred bucks which long term isn't that much and then i see a lot of people buying the air tube and wanting to upgrade that you don't want to do because that's not your face mask. now you didn't spend five hundred dollars plus but then again you have two and a lot, and I, I didn't know that was a thing. Some of y'all crafters, like they will have three different crickets. They just boom, boom, boom. 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 I'm like, we are flexible. What? If okay. You need, if you need three colors printed, you could yeah. do. I mean, the three. All the Etsy shops, y'all got crickets. <laughs> but we're like, the the cricket has put into perspective. You really can make anything. Like anything that you purchase at the store can be made at. Now, whether you have the time, whether you have the intentions or the urge to do so, that's another thing, but you're capable, for sure. Our mindset at this point is DIY everything. 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 Like, I don't wanna... If it can be bought, that means it can be made. They made it And that there. means we can make it. Listen, listen. All right, so back okay, to what right. you would get. Okay, so, so um, I need my Cricut. You need your Cricut. You need, uh, I would definitely get the basic tool set. Bucks on Amazon. I recommend it. You don't necessarily have to get the Cricut brand. I didn't realize that there were other brands afterwards, but it's a necessity. Um, I would get extra mats. So the Cricut comes with a light grip mat and it comes with a fabric mat, which I don't know where it's at right now. You lost it already? I haven't I haven't used it. I just I don't know where it's at. So I would it comes with these two. I would get yourself a couple more mats. Um, I got two more standard grips, and I actually have, they have long mats. I have those coming because for the front porch welcome signs, it's bigger than this. So I don't want to keep doing cuts when I can just do it on cheap. So get yourself some extra mats, um, and then just get a good organization system going for your vinyl. Um, I bought a cart. You don't have to do all that. But as far as storage goes, you don't have to be extra like me and buy a cart. But I love this cart. It's so cute. It's cute. It helps me just have everything in one spot. And then, I don't know, I just like it. It has like a little pegboard on this side. You can't see it. Turn but, around. That's so cute. But I think I see it. I mean, it's all put together, but you know. The other problem is I have a two-year-old. And anything on wheels... He's like, that's for me. <laughs> that's for me to push. And, and it's not. Like, this is the last thing I want you to push down the But it's cute. You have, like, the little pegboard. Yeah, so it has a little pegboard. So all of the tools, mats, everything have little holes in them. And it's, like, literally perfect. Just hang it. And this is a good idea. This is a So if you don't want to go quite so large, um, these IKEA magazine holders, I think they're called, they come like five in a pack for like two dollars. They're super cheap. People paint them and do all that. I did it and I was like, this ain't worth it. Nobody cares. <laughs> so um, yeah, these are good. I would recommend labeling your vinyls. Um, these are infusible ink ones. There's removable, there's permanent, there's heat transfer, and a lot of them don't actually have labels once you open them. So label them. Do yourself a favor. The notebook. Just start your own little notebook of things. Anytime you have to go on Pinterest or Google something twice, just print out. Just print out so you have it. Um, it's accessible regardless of what you're doing. Because at least this is here. Because if it's on the computer and you're working, you're like, oh, oh. I don't want to have to toggle. Yeah. Sometimes I don't have my phone. So I just really, really, really like having Whatever machine you're going to purchase, 
have an extra maybe 50 to 75 bucks to spend on accessories. on accessories. That's good, yeah. Amazon has like these sampler kits where you can get all these different colors. Oh, so you're not like yeah, committing to one color of a lot. Exactly, because I didn't really know that starting off and I was buying entire rolls, which isn't a bad idea for like your primary colors, but I don't need a whole yeah. roll of some of these colors. So go on Amazon, I think I paid like $20 for this. And the quality has been good. Are your eyes glazed over as much as my eyes are? <laughs> I you can I get a little insight in here. There's this machine is bomb. Like I have purchased a lot of tools, a lot of dumb things. This was not one of them. It's crazy in the um, cricket groups. A lot of people talk about how they purchased it and haven't opened it for two weeks because they're afraid. It's overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. But you gotta jump in. Jump in. You're gonna mess up. Period. It might not be the first time. You might get comfortable, and it might be the fifth time. You're gonna mess up. Um, absolutely do some test runs just get on Pinterest and see the things this thing can make cards it writes we didn't even get into that there's whole pens it can write like calligraphy so everybody thinks you actually have good penmanship my handwriting is terrible so I will do you guys the favor Both of us, like it our, between the two of us somebody right should be able to write good and nobody can so um, yeah whole nother video um, but like I said, I hope this helps someone. If there's something specific that you would like for us to do, because I'm making her. I was gonna say, I don't know who us is. I am going to rope Danette in on this. If she can do it, I think. I'm just kidding. It wasn't shade. But seriously, like she's, I would consider her a beginner. Very, and very. she doesn't really know much. So I think showing me try to teach her would be helpful. Yeah. But um, if there's something specific you wanna see, drop it in the comments below we would love to i'm gonna probably be making things anyway if you just got a cricket which one did you get why did you pick that one just, just what do you talk plan to on us. what do you plan on using it for i need some cricket friends <laughs> please please come be her friend please there's definitely going to be so many more of these videos to come Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notifications so that you see them. If you're struggling with something, it's probably the same thing she or I are struggling for with. Sure. For so sure. uh, hit the notifications so that you can get alerted probably at the exact moment you're struggling. <laughs> exactly. If you want to see more outside of YouTube, we actually have an Instagram page where we post our day to day bills, shopping trips, whatever we eat for lunch, some cricket projects, whatever. Okay. Whatever we doing. So just follow us on Instagram at Material Curls. Bye. I'm about to cricket. <laughs>